Every candlestick in your chart is a strength meter for you to use. Every candlestick on your chart is telling you where the strength is on the buying side or on the selling side. But it's up to you to use it and it's up to you when do you want to use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the candlestick pattern that I prefer the most. I know you know those names of candlesticks. Uh, you call them morning stars, uh, flying, whatever, engulfing, uh, whatever in the stars, okay, and the doges. But here I'm not going to tell you that. Here I'm going to show you how to understand this in a very simple way and how to use this in a very, very safe way. This alone does not determine that you are on a buy trade or a sell trade. This candlestick, let me show you what I'm talking about. When you see a candlestick like this, the most important thing for you is a tail. Okay. This tail alone is, is also telling you another story that you must understand. This tail here. The tail at the top represents the sellers. Okay. The tail below represent the buyers. Okay. So the buying candlestick is a blue candlestick. The selling candlestick is a red. Yeah. Green candlestick is a buying candlestick. Okay. Which tells you that in this candlestick, it's a, a selling candlestick. And the sellers are represented from the, from the tail at the top to where the market closed, okay, to the body of the candlestick. The body of, of the candlestick, I'm talking about this thick part. You can see the bold part, which does not include the tail, okay. So in this way, this candlestick is a selling candlestick, but this tail is telling us a different story. This tail is bigger than the body of the candlestick combined with the top tail which tells you that the buyers are more powerful they were more powerful here than the sellers okay let me repeat again the tail below a candlestick represent the seller the power of the sellers the tail above the candlestick represent the power of the buyers okay so from this tail at the top on a red candlestick from this tail at the top to the body of the candlestick is the sellers but on a green candlestick from the tail below to the body which is here of the candlestick represent the the buyers only this tail here excluding the body represent the sellers so how do you explain this? Since the tail is bigger than the whole body and the top tail of the candlestick, it shows that these buyers are more powerful here. And you can see the market began going up. Okay. So again here, this candlestick only sell us. Actually, these candlesticks, all of them, from here actually, you can see the sellers were more powerful in both ways. You can see they are the top tail, the top tail, the top tail, and then you can also see the top tail is bigger than the actual body on the buying candlestick. Yeah, the sellers were more powerful. Okay, so every time when you see a candlestick, also focus on the tail. Don't just focus here. Okay, focus on these tails. It will also help you a lot. Okay, it will also tell you the story of what is happening in the current market. So what I where I use these things, I use them on on the trend line. I, I use them when the sessions are opening, during the news, uh, and on support and resistance. You don't just use them anywhere. Okay. But this video is about the tails of the candlestick. No need to memorize those those uh, those uh, those things, those names. And I use two candlesticks 
to determine the strength. If two candlesticks don't agree, I will use the third one. Let's talk about these candlesticks here. You see, the sellers came in so powerful than the buyers as the tail is bigger than the candlestick and the below tail. After that, I was, wait, I was waiting for this to also confirm this candlestick. But no, here the buyers came in so strong than the sellers. Then the market didn't move here. It's just like a doji. This candlestick, this, if you can combine this candlestick, it's just the same as this doji candlestick without the move. The market didn't move here. Okay. So, uh, two candlesticks failed. I'm waiting for the third one to, to show me the direction. The third one came and said, no, the sellers are in power. Okay. Then I knew what happened. Okay. So I come here. This candlestick showed the, that the buyers have power, as you can see. The top, can, the top tail is so small. So let, let's wait for the second one to tell us if this candlestick is right. The, third can, the second candlestick said, no, the sellers have power. Still you relax. After you relax, you wait for the third one. The third one said, indeed, this one is correct. The sellers have more power. And then you see the market going down. Okay. You want two candlestick to, to accept, to agree to each other. Else you are going to the third one. Let's come here. You see this one said, no, the sellers have power. And this one confirmed for you. Then the buyers tried here, but they didn't win as the sellers were more powerful. And then you come here. You see this candlestick alone telling you that no, buyers have more power here. This candlestick to me is just a buying candlestick. I don't call this hammer because you can see the tail which represent the, the buyers is below. The tail that represent the sellers is no more to be found. So you can see just from here, the market, it was indeed correct, this candlestick, when it tells us. It tells us that indeed uh, there, there is a power for the buyers. Okay. So you use this. Uh, I'll show you. I use this on support and resistance and trend lines. That's where I use them. I'll also provide videos on where I use these candlesticks. Okay. You see this candlestick here said no. The sellers are more powerful than the buyers. You can see the tail is bigger than the old candlestick then what happened the market went down okay please guys subscribe i will make a video on how to use this thing effectively now you just you just you just have to understand that no need to memorize this candlestick what you must also keep in mind is the tail the top tail represent the power of the sellers and the below tail represent the the power of the buyers uh, the same way and then you need two candlesticks to confirm this. Like you can see, this told us that the sellers are more powerful. And then the other one also came and said, nah, the sellers are more powerful and the market went down. You need two candlesticks to do that for you. Okay. This is what you need. Two candlesticks to confirm this for you. If these two candlesticks does not agree on the same fact, you can go to the third candlestick to, to confirm. Uh, I will show you what happened here. You can see the tail is bigger on both sides. This candlestick said, yes, the sellers are more powerful. And then this one also confirmed. And then you can see the market didn't move well, but the sellers were more powerful at that moment. Okay. So this candlestick are more important. And what you must look at are these tales these tales are telling you a story okay guys sure good luck uh, please guys subscribe so that we can have more 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 videos and thanks to those who subscribe i appreciate you guys a lot